Hi there. There's been a lot of debate and speculation the past few weeks about exactly how many seasons does HBO and Sharon Ryan Condal intend House of the Dragon to run for. Because initially they said three to four, which is silly. There's no way you could do this in three. Then a month ago, Ryan Condal was vacillating. Now they say they're still debating it, but most recently the HBO head of drama said at least four in a very prominent interview. So at least four means they're aiming for five, but they said they were still working it out with Martin when the writer's strike hit. We're not really sure what that implies about their discussions, but at least four is looking better. That in you know my own head canon, I was planning out the act breaks in the war in Fire and Blood. Maybe five seasons is what I said. But what hit me like a ton of bricks very recently it is something that I never occurred to me, and I haven't seen other channels on here considering, so I'm going to share this with all the major ones. What if what Ryan Condal considers the end point is simply different from what we consider the end point? This ties into that the Dance of the Dragons, the Targaryen Civil War, has a direct sequel era, the, the Regency era, the Aftermath era. And Fire and Blood has chapters on it. I've said for years that there's like eight chapters on the Dance of the Dragons and another four on the Regency era, which is a direct sequel. So in some ways, the, the stopping point is academic because the story would just keep going. And I've said for years, unless you want to do like a 10-season show, make it like a five-season show with a direct sequel because the nature of the show changes drastically. And the exact point at which the Aftermath era starts, there could be differing opinions on. In short, well, spoiler free, the final act of the Civil War is called the Hour of the Wolf. And for years, I considered, well, the story of in my headcanon planning out the three years the show is in development, this show will end with the final season as the Hour of the Wolf. And the Battle of the King's Road, the Lads, and the Hour of the Wolf, and all that final act. Now I'm wondering, what if Ryan Condal doesn't want to stay for that? He's not rushing anything, just that the act break before that is when he wants to leave. And the Hour of the Wolf would be season one of the Aftermath show to give it a good launch. There is nothing wrong with this. In... A Song of Ice and Fire terms, well, Martin said it's like a trilogy, you know, he planned it out as three acts, that book three, the end of book three is the end of act one. So like the Red Wedding and stuff, that's the end of act one, that will ultimately culminate in Tywin's death, but all of that. And remember what we hoped for right when Game of Thrones, the TV show, was starting, that hopefully, if it's a ten-year show, they'll hand it off to different showrunners over time. That didn't happen, that from many people behind the scenes, I know Wester Estador has talked about this, they said people we're in contact with who meet with Benioff and Weiss said after season three they were tired and just done with it, but they didn't want to give it up to someone else because of their egos. Though what should have happened is they kept saying we want to go through the Red Wedding because then we'll get infinite renewal, we'll know it's locked in. They, they knew that once that makes it a mega hit, they can half-ass it, they can phone it in after that. Now remember that season, due to the time overlap, season five was the first season they wrote after The Red Wedding. That when The Red Wedding aired, season four was pretty much already written. So that's when they started half-assing it. That's no accident. But what should have happened is they go up through book three, through The Red Wedding, maybe even Tywin's death. And then when we got to the Feast for Crows material, where the story broadens out again to the Iron Islands, to Dorne and everything, what if... J j the mind boggles that if we had people who were normal writers who had handed it off to someone else. And these guys weren't normal writers. You know, they were con men from day one, all the failed pilot stuff, things they hid from us that were going on behind the scenes. But we would have still thought the first three seasons, because if it, they were figureheads, but everyone around them made it so good that, okay, and now we'll pass it off to a real writer. No, they got really possessive and wanted to do the whole thing. What if this is the opposite of that? By some miracle, this is the opposite of that, and Condal is just planned out, there's a target point I intend to leave, that Condal himself 
probably doesn't intend the 10-year time commitment it would take to do the entire six-year Regency era. I think you could do two, maybe three TV seasons off of that, and then just keep going into the reign of the next guy, because there's other stories that Fire and Blood Part 1 ends abruptly, but even with those four-ish chapters on the Regency era, it's possible, and I always thought this, maybe Condal doesn't intend to stay for those. They'll be not even a soft reboot, just rebranding as this is season one of the Aftermath show. So you see, it's just a, a sliding scale there that maybe instead of the Hour of the Wolf being the final season of The Dance of the Dragons, it's the first season of the sequel show that Condal never intended to stick around for, because as a gentleman writer, he intends to pass the torch to a fresh set of showrunners, who have more energy once he's done all this work. I'm fine with that. I try to keep this spoiler-free, it's just... If you've seen the animated, 20-minute animated featurette... I'll leave it at this. The 20-minute animated featurette on the Dance of the Dragons that they put out with the Season 5 Blu-ray does not cover the Hour of the Wolf. It's at the stopping point right before that. So what if thinking of where, with no spoilers, where that ends? Maybe that's where Condal wants to wrap up his involvement in what he considers this story arc. And then the Hour of the Wolf and all that other stuff will be season one of the next show. That might explain why they're giving us these surprisingly low numbers for this of eh, three, maybe four, five, I'm not really sure. And yeah, they're shorter seasons. And okay, I'd rather have, you know, like five seasons of eight than four, ten, whatever they do with that. Well, that's what I thought. Then again, maybe they're giving it more extensions behind the scenes because it was a su success. I don't know what Condal wants to do, but it's just, it stared me in the face. A major assumption we made is that Condal wants to do the Hour of the Wolf as the final season before handing it off to do it, someone else, some other showrunner, to do an Aftermath show. He might want to end when the animated featurette ended. And I don't, I don't consider that a problem at all. So I'm keeping this short at seven minutes just that I'm going to make longer speculation videos, but I realize that is a bedrock assumption we made. And it's something I'd, I wish I could ask him honestly in an interview. Do you intend to stick around for the Hour of the Wolf, or are you going to hand it off? So keep that in mind.